We've talked about the flip down edge guide and how handy it is. What if your machine doesn't have the mounting holes needed to use one of these? Let's talk about that. Now in order to mount a guide like this, your machine needs these two threaded bolt holes. And it mounts on just like this. So what if on the back of your machine, you don't have the two mounting holes needed to mount that guide? So here we are at another machine. I've seen some guys drill these out and tap them. I'm probably not all that comfortable doing that. I would do it, but there are workarounds that I'm going to talk about that work very well. And so it's really not worth the risk in most cases to drill and tap your machine out. Now if you want to do that, that's cool. And if you're going to use that flip down guide enough to justify it, then go for it. So I'll start with the most basic guide and probably the cheapest and that's tape. You lay some tape down at the distance from the needle that you want your sewing line to be. So if you want to sew that 5 8 seam allowance that's so frequent in patterns, you just put down that tape and then you'll just follow that visually. You'll just keep the edge of your fabric on this tape and in that way you can produce a consistent good result. And when you're done, you can just pull up the tape. If you don't leave it on there, it's not going to leave a bunch of sticky residue and it's not going to hurt this paint. These industrial sewing machines have very tough finishes. So this uh, little bit of masking tape is not going to hurt anything. Another method that's nice is a uh, magnet. Now they sell uh, magnets online. And in fact, I'll have a link in the description for uh, strong magnets that are uh, not this magnet, but some that are purpose built for sewing machines. The idea is you set this guide whatever distance you want. So for instance, if you want a 5 8 seam allowance, you just set that magnet 5 8 of an inch from the needle. Now you can follow that. I've used this magnet in a video that I made some curtains in. And the nice thing about it is it's easy to move. So in that project, I had several different sizes of hems and seams that I was making. So it was real easy to just make the adjustment on the magnet. And so my new dimension, and then when you're done with this, you can just take it off and stick it somewhere out of the way. They're cheap, they're easy, they're non-permanent, they're out of the way when you don't need them, and they work very good. So that's a real nice option. Now I want to talk about these. This is a guide that attaches to your machine and on this machine you can see right here there are two holes and these are threaded holes and these holes can be used to mount a variety of items to the table. So in this case we can mount this sliding T guide with a sewing foot screw. Now you can just adjust these to whatever allowance that you wish to sew in, tighten it down. Now you can push your work against this edge and sew a consistent line. If you want to sew a 5 8 seam allowance, you just measure it out to the needle. Now when you run the edge of your fabric against that, you're going to sew a 5 8 seam allowance or hem. Then it's pretty easy to just uh, remove it when you don't need it. These are real effective, real cheap, real easy. So if I want to mount folders and binders and whatnot to a machine that has a bed like this, I like to use this swing away bracket. I'll just mount it to the machine with the screw like this. And then whatever folder or binder I'm using just goes on right here. And I can adjust my binder or folder in order to get it lined up on the needle in order to get the stitch 
line in just the right place, but just tighten that down. Now you're set. You can swing this out of the way, do some sewing operations, go back to binding, do some more sewing operations, etc. Then when you're totally done with it, just one screw takes it off the machine. But what if your sewing machine looks like this? Say you've got a top loading bobbin like this. Now instead of having those two screws right here, you've got this sliding plate. So if you've got a machine like this, you can use the tape again or you can use the magnet. One way that I like to put folders on a machine like this is I got myself a new plate. I epoxied this swing away bracket to the plate so I can change different different binders and folders out whenever I want to do a different operation. So in order to do the swing away guide I just remove this plate and put my secondary plate that I've glued my swing away to. Now I can mount different folders and guides onto this swing away. So say I want to put this double fold binder on to make some belt loops. I can just put it on here and get it adjusted side to side where I need it, where I need that sewing machine to sew the folded material between this and these two screws and multiple screw locations, you've got a lot of ability to get this binder or folder exactly where you want it. And now I'm ready to go. And I didn't take a lot of time to do it. If I want to change out a different size of folder or I want to buy a binder, all I got to do is just buy the binder and I can change this out. That's a pretty handy way to be able to change out these folders and stuff. You've got the added benefit of being able to swing that out of the way. If you're going to use it a couple times on a project, you can just leave it in the machine. It doesn't interfere with changing out the bobbin. So now I've installed a guide so I can use this bracket to put this little guide on if I'd like. So you've got some options there. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully you've seen something in this video that you can use. I'll have some links in the description for some of these items and some options that you might want to look at. I really appreciate your support. Please consider subscribing to my channel and give me a thumbs up. It helps a lot.